Welcome to the channel. So today is going to be a really quick video, a really quick update on the Ultra Mont Blanc. I did a video on Monday, which is only about, what, three or four days ago. If you haven't already seen that, please do click on the link up there. Um, that's the my first impressions, but I wanted to put out something really, really quickly because there's two things that I need to address. Um, well, there's one in particular that I need to address just in case, yeah, just just pre-warning because I know that I have reviewed um, trainers in the past and my first impressions have all been really, really good. And then in about four to six weeks later, I found that there were some issues. So I'm trying to address these issues as quick as possible. And so therefore I can be as useful as possible for anyone thinking of buying the shoe. The major point, the major concern um, is just this area here within the shoe there. Now that I'm finding quite narrow, tapered, thin, just just there, which just pushing up on the medial side in there. No, it's not bad, it's not terrible, you know, I'm, I, but I'm just noticing it. And the reason why I didn't pick it up instantly was because A, I was just concerned about the width of the shoe, making sure that it was wide enough. B, I was very concerned about the heel collar because I had heard that this was just not, not secure enough. So I was, this was the thoughts that were going on my head and see the laces, the lockdown, everything else. I've never ever can have come across any issue with this part of the shoe being too narrow. See, plenty wide enough here for the toast display. Heels fine, for me anyway, but I did find this bit here just a little bit, it's just a bit on the narrow side. So basically it's just a word of warning about the shoe. I've never, never thought about that part. It's never been an issue for me. This is why it didn't come up instantly, but that's that. Also, as you can see here, which isn't really uh, an issue but it's more of an update that I've done here's a video of me actually as you can see right now of me putting a very very cheap sort of padded ankle thing which you can buy from Amazon for about two three pounds just on the top of the laces and that sticks nicely onto the laces just to give it a little bit more padding without any extra weight uh, so there's the laces don't put any pressure on if you want to tie them down even more so here I'll just show you again this is them now and on here, there. I've also changed the laces, not because I didn't like the tubes, just because I didn't like the color. I just prefer it to be all the same color up here and then that bit of color there. So there's no need for you to change the laces unless you really don't like them. But um, I haven't changed the laces for anything rather than just aesthetics. So there it is. So two updates, one on the tongue and the other is the last of the shoe. It's, it sort of tapers in just there. Uh, and again, it's not terrible. And actually the platform is wide. It's, you know, this is a wide platform up here, but they do taper it in a little bit here. So just a word of warning. That's it, that's all I wanted to say. Really quick update on that. I am gonna be putting together a couple of videos in regards to comparing this shoe here with the Timp, uh, the Olympus, and the Lone Peak on the Ultra selection. And also I wanna compare it to other shoes like the Speed Goat, which I think it's very similar to. Uh, I even think it looks a bit like a Speed Goat too. So I'm gonna, and the Ultra Glide, Sal Sal Salomon Ultra Glide. So stick around or stay tuned for those ones. Right, that's it from me, really quick. Hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.